behind door number one. <laughs> Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So in today's video we are going to review and talk about this massive arcade machine with the Pandora box inside. Yes, because I'm here with the Grand Fly Amusement and we have another video because I recorded a lot of videos at the same time and just uploading them uh, on the channel. All right, so nevertheless, let's talk about it and what are we going to get? The reason why I'm making this video is I really love Arcade Machine and he had a lot of new machines coming in. So that's the reason why I'm making a lot of these videos. This is the Marvelous Capcom 3 edition and this is a full size cabinet for two players. So I reviewed a lot of these, let's say Pandora based arcade machine or Raspberry Pi. But I just wanted to show you this because this thing is so freaking awesome. It comes pre-installed with the Pandora game 3D. It's a Yamaha edition by the way. And I just wanted to do a quick overview what are we going to get um, if you look at this device it's all set up for you and this means you're going to get the main board it comes with an amplifier inside two huge speakers and it's just one massive arcade machine because this isn't full size not like our typical mini bar tops or pandora box mini arcade one up clones no this is a full size two player cabinet all right so let's do a little bit of an overview and what are we going to get so what I understand from Dragonfly Amusement, he is working with these Chinese cells for a very long time now. And if you look at this gate cabinet, this is what we call the next new generation of arcade cabinets. And I'm also including the artwork because in the past it was a little bit, let's say, we don't say bad, but it was more low, like a low quality. But nowadays, as you can see here on the video, the art itself looks amazing, high quality print. And they basically not mess it up with this arcade cabinet. Yeah, and let's be honest, you buy this more like an, sometimes like a decoration piece and the whole picture needs to be perfect. And if you look at the left side of the cabinet, it looks amazing. At the front we can find the amplifier very convenient if you want to adjust the volume. It's just a basic Chinese amplifier with volume control, balance, treble and bass. Nothing special to be honest, but it does the job. And here under the marquee you can find the two speakers and if I'm correct it are two times 10 watts. At the front of the machine we can find the coin mechanism for insert coin. You can always put the machine on free play if you don't want to use it. But right, that brings us to the next part. Let's open up the cabinet because we wanted to know what's behind door number one. And here we can take a closer look inside. So the first thing that we are seeing here is not only the back of the coin mechanism, but we can find the coin collector or the little wood drawer where you can pick out your coins if needed. And here we have the Pandora Game 3D EM Edition main board. Keep in mind, if you want to go to the setting menu, you need to press the little black button. And here we have the power supply, and they are using a little wall socket divider. And from the back, we doing a little bit of an overview, and you also can see we having turn number two that we're going to take a closer look a little bit later here in the video. But let's talk about it at the back because there are some things that we need to talk about. Yes. So let's talk about first the little ventilator for cooling down system. It's more for fun, I'm guessing, because it looks really useless. Here we can put in the power, but this thing doesn't work because he had placed the on and off switch at the top. But it's very convenient, to be honest. All right, so let's open up door number two because here at the back we can reach the monitor itself because it is very important. We can just take a closer look at the monitor, what kind of connection they're using. As you can see, we're having VJ and DVI, no HDMI, a little bit strange to be honest. Here at the right, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit, you can see that you can adjust the monitor. If you want to have a power on off, uh, you want to adjust something, the screen itself, or you need to go to the menu of the monitor, you can do it here. And now it's time for some wicked chat chat regarding the Pandora Game 3D. For people who have no clue what's the Pandora Game 3D, I will do a little bit of explanation. As you can see here, we're having the all list. 
We have even the categorized systems. We have in PlayStation, MAME, Neo Geo. We have in PC Engine, Mega Drive, NES, and even Sega Dreamcast support of oh, MPSP. And here in the recent list, you can see you for if you want to recently go to a played game, you can go to there. And not to forget, we have a search function that works very nice. So if you want to do a quick search, if the game is on the system already, you can just go to it and play the game. So this is very convenient. When you press on the black button, you go to the setting menu. Here you can, let's say for the key settings, you go and check out if everything is mapped correctly. Is everything works like a charm. We even have the Wi-Fi connection uh, because we can go to the store and check for updates. All right, so the key settings is also possible to remap some buttons if you're not satisfied with the configuration that came with the Bandura game 3D. All right, so here a quick look into the store. As you can see, you can basically download some game, but keep in mind, you need to have some free space left. You can always upgrade the SD card if you know how to do this. There are two player support for games like Tekken 6 or the PSP, but keep in mind, not every game has this two player support. Just want to mention it. No, don't shoot! So, but if you look at the overall quality of the arcade machine when playing and seeing it, it's totally an other level of Chinese arcade machines. Don't compare this with all the ones with very horrible crappy decals. First of all, th this is more like a vinyl, vinyl sticker, very thick and very nice quality. And you don't need to be scared of that it's going to wear out when playing it for many, many years. If you look at the marquee itself and everything, how it's built, it looks beautiful. They didn't mess it up because in the previous model I've reviewed with Arcade Machine they had some little problems with that. 
But if you also look at the joysticks, we're having Samba joysticks, very good, nice light up buttons. So also this is a very cool little detail that they in the past missed out many times. So if you have any questions, you can always leave it in the comments or send Dragonfly Amusement an email yourself. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, become one of the Wicked family and don't miss out any Wicked content. And if you've done so, it will be great. So that means I will see you in my next video.